This is part 4 of SQL Server interview questions and answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss how to delete all duplicate rows except one from a SQL Server table. This is a very common interview question. Here is the table with duplicate data. Notice that Mark record is duplicated three times, Mary record two times, and Ben record three times. Now, the delete query that we are going to write should delete all the duplicate rows except one per employee meaning after we execute the delete query the employees table should be left with just three records as you can see here let's see how to achieve this let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio so I've already created this employees table and populated it with some test data here is the SQL script that can do it I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it now to write the delete query we're going to make use of a common table expression and let's call this common table expression employee CTE we are going to select all the columns from employees table along with all the columns we also want row number so we are going to make use of row number function so row number over we want to partition we want the data to be partitioned by this ID column and then we also want to order the data by ID column and then based on that generate the row number and let's give this row number a name let's call it row number and let's see what we get from the CTE so let's select you know whatever this CTE produces so let's go ahead and execute this query look at this look at this row number column so first of all look at these first three records so the data is partitioned by ID and then the row numbers are unique within that partition when the new partition starts look at that the row number starts from 1 so here we are partitioning the data basically by the ID column and you know within the partition the row numbers are unique when a new partition starts you know the no row number is going to start from one again now using this column we can very easily delete all the rows except one in the delete query we can use this row number as the filter so instead of selecting all the rows from employees what we can do is delete from employees where row number column is greater than one okay so what is it going to do it's going to delete anything that has got row number greater than one meaning it's going to leave just one record per employee let's actually execute this and see what output we get so now let's go ahead and select all the rows from employees table look at that now the table is left with just three records so basically partition by is going to divide the query result set into partitions and here we are partitioning the result set by ID column. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.